Good morning, it's Sunday the 30th of April and I'm going to show you today how to put tomato plants in halos in grow bags in the greenhouse. So, grow bag here. I have just lifted this grow bag up and I have just punched some holes in the bottom uh, with my fork um, in half a dozen places just to drain into the tray. You don't have to use a tray, it's just its concrete floor here and uh, I always try to choose to use a tray. So, we put, place our three Halos, it's smaller grow bags, you'll only need two, but these are the deep fill Tomorite Le Levington ones. So we get three uh, three halos into the grow bag. So we push down on the grow bag just to make some holes because these have got points on for the water to drain out of. So I've already cut this one out, as you can see. So once we've got the holes here, all we need to do is to just use our scissors and go round like this and cut the hole out and take away the whole of the plastic that's, that's in there like so throw that one away the next stage is just to loosen the soil here uh, in the grow bag because it's a little bit hard where it's been stored probably for several months so just loosen that up and it enables the roots to get into the into the grow bag soil like so we then pop our grow bag back in so that the points line up with the holes that we originally made so that we're not into the plastic again, like so. Then I've got this piece of uh, board here, which I use to put the, the compost in the middle. Um, you can just use a, a piece of cardboard with the hole cut out. But this slots just nicely onto there, like so. And then I just got some, this happens to be a split grow bag, but any of your chosen compost, then you just lift it up put it in the hole like so and just fill about a third of the way full depending on the size of your tomato plants but uh, that will be about a third of the way up like so I then got my tomato plant here uh, this one is called flamingo I'm just going to eat it out of the pot you can see it's well rooted these are actually sown on the 20th of March so that's 41 days ago so not quite six weeks um, and they've been on heat so it's now the end of April so I'm putting them in back to our uh, compost again and we can just pop the compost around the rest of the plant like so it's quite a bit of compost just to fill this hole settle it down use your fingers around the edge just to bring it um, into position like so so the cotyledon roots uh, sorry the cotyledon leaves were about here so I'm just going to go to, to, to there and there's a little bit above it's fine but do remember if you've got a grafted variety not to go above the graft uh, you need to keep the roots below the graft because the roots will grow out of the stem here anyway so that's now potted on I gently lift off my template Chip that back into there and there I have my tomato all in now what I do is water so watering can and for the first week or ten days I will only water inside the halo ring central ring but the idea long term is to actually water into the outer ring hence the little holes that go down into the bag so first couple of weeks just to get the roots established within that center well just water in there um, I've got these strings to tie around the base of the plant when it gets a little bit stronger I'm not doing that at the moment because if we do get more frost forecast which is unlikely but not impossible um, then I can wax and fleece over the whole row here of tomatoes so these are already in so a few more to go today uh, rinse and repeat just get these in now early May coming up any questions about growing tomatoes growing tomatoes in halos growing tomatoes in grow bags anything at all send me a message Enjoy your gardening.